The Geek Speak Show at San Diego Comic Con 2016. Fanning ourselves, almost fainting. <laughs> Drew, how are you? Literal fanboy. Yes. Right yeah, literally. We need one of those. Uh, so how's it going? It's going great. Everyone, I've seen people like wilting in the heat, like half, half cosplay outfits. Yeah. They had to like, they had to like shed their like body hair. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Speaking of shit, I was telling you, there's a Chewbacca. I want to say life size is like seven feet, eight feet tall, walking around. Looks cool, but like I said, I feel sorry for whoever's in there. Yeah. I just, I keep waiting to see like stormtroopers just collapse <laughs> from heat stroke. Yeah. So, so let's talk about the book. Uh, I mean, don't give it all away, of course, but just tell them what, basically, what, it, what it's about. Okay. So the hike is is a, a fantasy horror novel. Uh, about a guy who goes on a on a hike and he gets very very lost, and I was inspired by a lot of old folk tales that I read when I was a kid, but also a lot of computer games I used to play, like King's Quest and Gabriel Knight, like the old Sierra games. Yeah. And so, it's sort of sort of a mash of those two, but anyone who had read the Post Mortal, which was my first novel, I, I think that they'll like it. It goes fast, as fast as you can get a book to go. So my hope is that you know people sit down, a couple hours, close it up, have a beer. Yeah, good to no, go. I haven't read it yet. That's all right. But from from the description that I that I, that I have, it, it sounds to me a little Spielbergian like. Is that safe to say? Yeah, I mean, I think there's a lot of a lot of old classics that just indir- had, they're indirectly sort of inspired it. You know, there's Wizard of Oz, there's It's a Wonderful Life, Princess Bride. Yeah. All those sort of sturdy stories. There's a reason they last for so long, and you know I. It seems sort of smart to sometimes take some of those those sturdy sort of tropes and, and make your own thing out of it. And so that's what I was trying to do. So, like, you know, like something like the Odyssey, but with swearing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good description, actually. Yeah. Uh, this may sound a little corny, but did you get the story while you were on a hike? Yes, literally. On, yes, you yeah. did? <laughs> I was on, yes, because I was on a hike, and I'm very, like... I'm just like when I walk out the door in the morning, like, and I look up in the sky and there's like lots of clouds. I'm like, what if there's like a, like a fucking saucer up there? Like, yeah. I get very, I just get very daydreamy like that. Yeah. And so I was on a hike, and I was alone in the woods, and I was like really alone. And this was not like a secluded area. This was like a, like a relatively well populated area. But there was nobody with an eyesight anywhere. And I was like, well. A giant bear creature could come and just start attacking me, and no one would know. Yeah. And some, and then when I got home, I, I was like, it, I started writing about this guy going on this hike and just encountering giant insects and all this crazy shit. And then it somehow all coalesced into one book. Mm, so, so it's not out. Is it out yet? It's out in two weeks. Out August second. Yeah. So w- tell them where where they can find it. They can get it at every bookstore. It's a, it'll be in in Barnes and Nobles, every indie bookstore. You get it on Amazon. There'll be an ebook. There's an audio book. Anywhere you go where there's books, it's hardcover, very fancy. So you can put it up on your you know on your bookshelf, and it looks like a little trophy <laughs> of your literary ambitions. Yeah. And wh- where can we follow you? Do you have a Twitter? And yeah, uh, I'm at Drew McGarry. Uh, at Drew McGarry, and yeah. that's me on that's me on Twitter. People usually go there. And they, they get into my mentions and they make fun of my shirt. That's my day. <laughs> so there you go. That's where you can follow it. So, Drew, thanks a lot. Hey, thank you so much, Henry. I appreciate it, man.